Previously on the Beach House. Okay, we are at the Children's Museum and we are going to start 24 hours. Oh yeah, Mr. E's sending us a clue. I need Corbin to read this. Corbin, come here. What is it, James? There's a shark in there and a surfer. The day has finally arrived. What do you think it's gonna mean? With my head in the clouds and my feet on the map, we go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map. When this world's got me feeling small, I'll be sure to tell my story whenever our adventure comes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the beach house. I've got boogers in my eyes because I just woke up. And this is how I wear my hair when I sleep. My sister taught that to me when I was very young because her hair is really thick. But I started doing it because I like having my hair off of my neck when I sleep. It's really long, so it gets kind of tangled and nasty if I don't do that. Anyways. Welcome to the beach house. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the laundry situation and yesterday, yesterday was Sunday, we did not go to church. We were in San Francisco and we were at a, a RV park that was kind of sketchy. It scared me. I didn't even want the kids to play outside of it so we were slightly uncomfortable at that last place. And then we had an ant infestation. It went overnight. We got home after being at the Ghirardelli chocolate place and there were ants everywhere, everywhere. And I was like, no, I hate this. So I cleaned up everything as much as I could. And then in the morning they were back and they were everywhere. And we were out of propane. That place was so sketchy that Typically on a Sunday, we would stay stay in the place where we are and we would go to church and just relax, but we had to leave. So anyways, we left and we came to a new beautiful place and that's where we are right now. And we just stayed home and we're all sick anyway and trying to get over it. Charlie, Charlie, I'm talking to the camera right now. Huge awesome thing that happened. We got our water heater to work and this whole time we've been without hot water. I love you. I love you too. We get all the kids baths and I got a bath slash shower kitty because it has a step. So here's the shower head but it doesn't really work. So I just sat underneath here because there's like a little step and I got a bath slash shower and I was so happy because of it because I could just be self-reliant and I don't have to run outside of the trailer and find a shower house in each of the different places we're staying. And I could just get a nice hot shower. And then while the kids were getting baths, I did laundry. This is the laundry situation right now. It looks like a booby trap from the parent trap. <laughs> Are you thirsty or something, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. Over here, those are Ellie's and Charlie's clean clothes. And it just goes up to the air. It has been much cooler on this trip so far than we anticipated. So I don't have as many warm clothes. So I have to rewash those more often. Anyways, that's the update. It's time to get out of here. We gotta get ready for the day, clean up, and head to our next destination, which Sounds like it's gonna be surfing. However, we've all had colds and the ocean is not warm. So we'll see if we'll actually get to surf today. Um, and we're gonna find <coughs> Mr. E's treasure. And then yeah. it's gonna be eyes. Oh, I still have a head cold. Anyways, I was gonna say the best and the worst thing probably about living in this trailer is that it gets dirty really fast, but it also cleans up really fast. Okay, everybody's eating breakfast, laundry's put away, vacuumed a little bit. Corbin vacuumed for me. Yeah. 
to uh, put work. the rugs back down. We got breakfast going for everybody. Seriously, this place cleans so fast. It really it does. How disturb disgusting it is. Yeah. And like 10 or 15 minutes, spotless. Yep. And look, all clean. And I got these new organizational baskets at Target for all of our fruit. Car seats are up, ready to go. We're just gonna open up these curtains. Let some light in so we can see when we're driving to lock the door. We always have to lock the door right before we leave so the door doesn't accidentally swing open. We also have to make sure these skylight things are closed. That one's closed. That one's closed. There's another one in here. That one's closed. And that one's closed. That's a pretty good cleanup and we only worked for maybe half an hour tops. So much easier than cleaning a giant house at home. Corbin was just having a breakfast conversation with James and said, wait, I think I know what RV stands for. Run van! <laughs> okay, so James found the clue at the children's museum yesterday. But all it said was that it was time to go to the beach, right? That's what we determined. Since we don't really know which beach to go to or where on the beach we're supposed to look, we're just gonna go to a beach and I think that at this point, it seems like Mr. E is pretty much just like totally aware of us. So maybe if we just go to like a random beach, the clue will just show up there. So that's kind of what I think might happen. So let's just go to the beach and see what happens. Okay, while Michael was driving earlier today, I said, stop, I want to go get avocados and fruits there on the side of the How road. How much was it? Eight for a dollar? Yeah. This one's only seven for a dollar. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> and I was like, go, I want to go. And he's like, oh, I can't because we were going too fast on that road. But he kept an eye out. And even though I was sleeping in the back while he was driving, he still stopped. He kept an eye out. He found one. So I'm going to go out and get some fruit. Kiwi, seven for a dollar. Oh, I'm so excited. I do. It was never in the ones that they have nowadays. It was always in this In tank. those little green baskets. Yeah. Those are great. Okay, Dad's putting in the radio. <laughs> he got another radio, because whenever we try to turn on or off our old radio, it just doesn't listen. It just ignores what we do. Oh, I can turn it off just fine. Yeah, but I tried turning it off and it didn't. Open. That's because it only listens to me. <laughs> no, I got this because I wanted to be able to connect it to my phone. So this actually has Bluetooth. It has a microphone so he can do phone calls. That way when I'm driving I can talk on the phone and not have to... We have a new radio. Wow. It's almost That's put in. Crazy. Wow. And it's also Bluetooth. So actually on the box it says 13 bands if you can see that. So I've got all the connections put together back here. Even though it's not mounted in the wall. What if it just immediately turns on and is playing a rock and roll song? Oh, I disconnected something because I didn't want to have any issues when I was working on it. So I disconnected the fuse that gives it power. So he's putting it in now. It's working! My handsome electrician man. Oh, what? We don't know if it works yet. We don't. <laughs> Okay. Oh. I got the baby! Now he can plug it in all the way! I made crab salad for lunch and it's super yummy. The house is dirty again, like usual, but we are at our new location and I am loving it so far. Not all of these places have plenty of space for the kids to play in, 
And that's the hardest thing because sometimes it's just in the trailer and that's pretty much all the space we have. But today we have an awesome setup. This is like a little mini yard right here. And it's actually a pretty good sized little yard for a trailer. So I told the kids not to go past this white pole. And of course, Charlie, Charlie, do you see this? Do you see this white pole? You're supposed to stay over here on this side. So this is our setup, which is very, very helpful to keep the kids in their own little space. Okay, we just got done playing at the park and now we are headed to the beach. We're gonna go and see anything we can about surfing. I don't think we're gonna have time to do that today. And plus it's kind of cold, but we're gonna go and at least look at the beach and play and see what we can do there. And look for another clue, because we, we haven't been able to find one yet. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Eight, eight, let's go get away. And say, do what you gonna do, huh? I can already tell we're getting close to the beach. We're so close to the How beach. How can you tell? How can you know? <laughs> this is so exciting! We haven't really had a sunny day at the beach yet. You know that? That's right. It's always been rainy or cold or freezing. So this is gonna be nice. That's a bad, bad thing. So pee at you. Yes, you are soaking wet. Okay guys, time to go, let's go! I noticed a few people have been walking on this beach, but we still haven't found any clues or anything from Mr. E yet. Guys, the way back is this way. You're going the wrong way. What is it? Mr. E! What? No, what is it, guys? We just saw this cool dug up here. Just a hole? We just saw it as we were walking away from the beach and look what we found. What the heck? Hey, is it that says, a crystal? It says Mr. E on it. Oh, whoa. Wow, it does say Mr. E. What is that? It's just some type of wood hey. string. Charlie, can you grab it? Grab it, Charlie. Yeah. Grab it, buddy. He's so cold. I got it. Good. Thanks, buddy. Here, we got it. Whoa, it's like it got a bottle in it. Yeah! It's like a message in a bottle. Yeah! But yeah, there's a note inside. It I can see it. Right there. That's okay, so cool. Let's Grab it, Charlie is freezing cold. Let's grab it and head back, get fast, and figure out this clue. Okay. I can't believe we found it. That's such a cool place too. Mr. E must have made it. Yeah, we got a little Ewok here. He was freezing, so I took off his wet shirt and sacrificed my sweater to the sand. Charlie, are you a little Ewok? No. No? Just, <laughs> just a cute baby? Yeah. Okay, keep going. What's up, James? While we were finding the clue, I saw a drone hovering over us. It looked like it had a camera and on it, and, and it looked like as I was coming back, I saw it coming over, and then I saw it go there, go there, and then I saw it go down. I wonder, and it was right around here. I wonder, Mr. E's passing this area. 
I thought Mr. E was watching us with it. Oh, whoa. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're back in the RV. The chaos and crazy of going to the beach has subsided, and we actually just got showers. All the kids are all washed. I even got cleaned up. You did? I got a shower, uh, too. I'm the only one left nasty and dirty. I just still need a shower. Okay, Charlie's dirty. all warm in his towel. Much better now, huh? And without any ado, James is working on this puzzle. He's trying to see if he can solve how to get this thing open. I'm trying to push this ball in, but this rope is too tight. Yep, the ball doesn't go through there, I'm afraid. I love all these puzzles! They're so fun! You do? In the escape room, I saw this exact thing. I should have tried to open it. <laughs> oh, open. yeah. Like it. So, here we are. Let's get a closer look. It says Mr. E. And it's this wooden box with a b glass jar I found and a it. lid on top. It's got a rope holding it shut. And we have to try to, I guess, we have to try to get this piece off, but we can't get this off. Wait, until wait, this wait, is out of the stop. Line. I found it. I think you I did. I think Good I job. Can't. You ready to take a stab at it? Yeah. Yeah, Charlie? <laughs> Well, James just recently started trying to figure out how to get this contraption off the what end. What we need to do is get this little tiny ball to go in. Somebody grab a hammer. <laughs> well, all this beach fun time and puzzle solving is making me have a... Somebody get the scissors! That will solve it. No, that's not the right idea. <laughs> We have to solve it the right way. Okay, so this is a separate piece altogether. Yeah, I think Wait. you're right. <laughs> we did something. Maybe it was. Interesting. This part is what we need to get off, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So that we can get that up. This up so, so we can. The thing is, I swear I've seen other people do stuff like this. I just can't remember how they did it. Yeah. It's really hard. I'll update you guys once we make a breakthrough, I think. Because <laughs> this might be a while. Are you having a good time making dinner? I'm making steak. and corn on the cob. Steak and corn on the cob. Meanwhile, as you have seen, James and the kids have been working on solving this thing. Yeah, and they don't want to turn, so I've just been working. And I was doing this. And I think he's almost figured it out. <gasps> he got it. <laughs> Good job, James! That was a hard one! Wow! Oh, wow! That's it, right? <laughs> I think it's just that note. Do you remember in Captain Hook when Mr. Smee is like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read this for you? I can. You mean in Peter Pan? Yeah, I can. It says... Alright, Corbin, read it loud. It says, I hope you packed your flux competitor. Travel back to the age of dinosaurs. Clue at Dinosaur Caves Park. What? Whoa. Dinosaurs. I want to read it. It says, I hope you packed your flux capacitor. Travel back to the age of dinosaurs. Clue at Dinosaur Caves Park. Ooh. Are we going to travel back in time? What do you think, James? Wait, we bring it cool. What do you think, baby? 
flux capacitor, did you pack it? Capacitor, I just don't know if I got that one. Oh no, we have to go back in time to so the what dinosaurs. Is it? It says Dinosaur Caves Park? Yeah, clue at Dinosaur Caves Park. Let's search it. Okay. This is the best thing we got. I guess that's where we're going tomorrow. What do you think about that drone today? Oh, that was really strange. Yeah, James said he saw a drone. I never saw it, but it could yeah, be. Yeah, I saw it. Have, I, have we Corbin seen the drone before? Like at the things we're doing? Have we I saw the drone too. I haven't been even paying attention. I saw the drone too. You did? Okay, well I think that concludes today's adventure. We had so much fun at the beach. We found a, a bottle <laughs> on the ocean and solved the clue for Mr. So cool. E. And tomorrow we're going back in time to the age of the dinosaurs. Okay, let's search it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> when we were kids, we